So, um, we're back with Akiba's trip. Uh, last time you saw me on this, a police officer was changing, chasing me. What are you doing, Kimmy? A police officer was chasing me down this road. I had to pay again. And the woman wasn't nice this time. She was very angry. Tried to play it cool. Tried to make it sound good. But, um, did not work. Sadly. But now we're gonna carry on and go for, I think it's Antoinette. I think that's probably how you say the name. Schoolgirl. Is this, is this an actual shop? Huh? That's not a shop. <laughs> I do need some more clothes. I don't want to fight now, because every time I've fought so far, a cop appears. Take all my cash. Closed door? No? Ooh. That's, that's a closed door. It says in. Hello, sir. I'd like to buy some of your fuck. I have one. I don't have enough for anything anymore. Can I sell anything? Yeah, sell them. Sell them. Will that be all? That will be. I much. still don't think I have enough for anything. I've got enough for a gentleman's belt. I'm alright. Thank you very much. Bye, sir. You asshole. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Humans. You're a dick. Oh, God. That was police officer, please. Let there be no repercussions for accidentally shoving him out the way. I'm putting a schoolboy on the road. And what the fuck? Oh, Toodaloo, I think that says. Huh? Look at that. Look at that damn fine ass on that car. Pretty damn cool. They're not moving, though. Oh, that's because they're moving. Then you got, like, a little Fiat 500. And then a taxi. Now I got Junk Street. I bet you there's no police here. Just assholes with weapons. Or gothic chicks. We know not to mess with them. Because they do fight. Oh my god. They all walk so weird. Fuck out of the way. Oh! See, I'm the one that gets told off. These don't get told off for fighting. But really, these should get told off. I might need to change your uh, weapon. <laughs> Need to change weapon. <laughs> now I can't see if this woman's. She's going for Kimmy. No! I'm not afraid to hit a woman in a video game. Here in real life, I'd get the shit kicked out of me. If she had a, I think she's got a racket. I can't tell what she's. Got. Oh, ha ha! On the state screen, when your offense is high, you can deal more damage to your enemies. When your defense is high, your clothing is less likely to be ruined. My bitch. Plank. I don't think she's actually got headgear as well, so it's just the, the bottom and the um... Ow. I believe I can take... No, they're not going red. Blank! Oh, I missed. I need to, I need to dodge more. Oh! She says she can't fight, she's already took one person out. Ha! Ah! Yeah! That's pretty cool. It's like gladiator sandals. Let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, I can't wear them. I think it's because you need to be a female. Maybe I can give them to... Like... Kimmy. And Toki. And Toko. And Broski. 
And that's all the females we've met so far. Well now, it's rare to get customers at this hour. Hmm? Oh, you must be the boy Pops was telling me about. She says it so seductively, I don't know if this is going somewhere. You look rather ordinary to me. But perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the manager of this establishment. You may call me Antoinette. Antoinette, yeah, I got something right. Well, I don't own the arena. The one who does is presently on a journey. In death. So I am in charge for the time being. Now then, let's get started, shall we? This facility exists to help one achieve his or her full potential. It is a place where rivals cultivate each other's growth. Those who win do receive reward money, but the true reward is the experience itself. However, not everyone has the heart of a champion. If you wish to stand victorious within this ring, you must first prove yourself worthy. I shall be worthy. I will now test that worth, if I may. Are this you game ready? is turning into something different. Um, please be gentle with me. I break easily. I'm rooting for you. As you wish. Please step into the ring. Fight! I believe in you. You can do it. How's she going? Uh, uh, how'd she... She controlled that from a belt, but she doesn't really have a... How'd she do that? Oh. If you fight these vampire simps, you'll need some sort of special skill. Fight! Go! Um... Okay. Oh, my face. Okay. Attack me. Hey, you. Take me your trousers. Oh, I'm trying to go for her trousers. That one on the. Her trousers look like. Even they're just really. Yeah, they're just really pink. I actually thought we could take them. Plank. Alright, so his trousers I can take. That one that... That one that just... No! I'm sorry! I wasn't going for... Oh, God! Uh, uh, I'm trying to go for his. No, not you! Ow! Yes! Oh my god. All the strips. All the strips. What the fuck is going on right now? Power Rangers? What's going on? Oh, they're all fully nude. They're fully nude! They're so bright. Congratulations. Removing the enemy's underwear via a special cutscene. An underwear doesn't tear easily, so it'll be there for the taking afterward. What? So I can pick up their underwear and... Oh, God. Though considering who sent you here, I shouldn't be surprised. You were simply amazing. She says she might just be in love in her mind. Hmm. You did great! Really well! Here's your pass. With this, you may come make use of the arena anytime you wish. Please make this coliseum roar with the flames of your I think she's getting too into it. I think she likes me. Mission complete! Come on! Let's go back to Mokra! 
What the fuck? Guess I should head back and tell Pops how I did. At the battle arena, the strongest can survive. Hanger things facing some tough opponents. Okay. I got this. Oh, we're moving. I thought it was going to take me back. I'm going to actually run back. Oh my god, everything they had's here. I think I found a baseball bat. Oh, it's a plastic bat and it doesn't do as good. Apparently. I was hoping for those headphones. I can deal with that. Oh, that's good. Um... Um, that looks pretty gay. No, we're going to go with red. Red. Red sneakers as well. Look, we fucking got the name, got the, got the clothes to match the name. Got some emails. Antoinette, I expect great things of you. You have considerable skill. I'll be waiting in the arena during normal business hours, so feel free to drop by for a challenge anytime. Okay, and they're just like the... Kihachi Suguyama. Do I know this one? Oh, okay, something's happened. That's not camera. Oh. <laughs> Please, Kimmy, don't make those noises when I run into you. Some people will get the wrong idea. <laughs> what did I just say? People will get the wrong idea. Just imagine some people might be watching this video and their parents are in the room next to them and all they hear is... Hold on. That. I moved myself in the load screen, but you now see what I mean. If you were listening... You got that noise. It's like, Jimmy! What are you doing? Nothing. Just watching a video. Jeez. Yo. So what I'll do is I'll run into some guys for you instead of women. And they'll be like, oh, he, he's not. He, he won't be looking at that. I can't imagine him doing that. So let's see, look, there's some guys here. Yeah. See? Yeah. Ah. He's obviously playing a fighting game of sorts in his bedroom. Not making girl moaning noises. Like this T-posed one there. Oh. Slightly T-posed. Pushed you into the thing. Why the fuck did you have to move in my way? Ow. I look absolutely red at the moment, which is exactly where I want to be. POPS! Hey, welcome back. So how'd it go? That Antoinette's a bit of an odd one, ain't she? Not a bad person to know, though. Next time you see her, give her my regards. Anyway, I got a question for you. When you were walking down Junk Street, you saw some suspicious people milling about. Like right? windmilling? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, no. Oh, okay. If you got some energy to spare, I'd like you and Shizuku to head back there and scope the place out. Man, you that hungry? Oh. Yeah, I mentioned I wanted lunch then. I didn't even think about saying that line then. Is there any food you want to add to the list? Um, what we got here? Tell her to buy me three of the usual. Get it, got it, good. I'll call her and let her know. Okay, we're off to patrol Junk Street. We'll be back soon. Okie dokie. Go get them, but be careful. Junk Street has all those tight, cramped roads behind the Bella Halley Assembly Hall. Definitely some shady people back there. Just like that illegal fight arena I just went to, the Pops told me to go to. Want me to go get some of your uh, special sugar as well? While I'm at it, Pops? Is that in the back streets? 
all that blue stuff that gets cooked up. All that flour. The green leaf. You know what I'm on about. You old fuck. Now you have an underage girl in your attic. That's right, I'm on about you, Toki. We've got this shit. Oh, what the fuck? These guys have actual weapons. The suspicious people Pop spoke of? One looks like... The one on the left looks like a weird... I don't know. It, it kind of looks like Grey from Fairytale, but... He doesn't look like Grey from Fairytale whatsoever, but he's a young looking. And the one on the right... It's like a pedo in training. It's like he's, he's dressing young too. That was oh. your problem. What do you think you're looking at? You here to start something? I'll make mincemeat out of your bones. They're synthesters. I can sense it. I'm afraid we have no choice but to defeat them. I've got your back. Let's do this. Power Rangers, go! Oh god, are they wearing motorbike helmets? Okay. That wasn't time very good. Oh, all of three of them. That's interesting. She got a helmet. That, that's obviously gonna. Oh, I was gonna say that's gonna take forever to break, but it's already broke. Or he's already broke. Oh my god, it's the old man! No! Ah! Uh. Ready to first fucking drop kick you weirdo. I don't like this guy. Give me a shirt, you fuck. So you got double, triple, plesidium, military boot. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, I'm back. Toki, you take the woman, I'll take the... The young man in the mask. The ow. This helmet breaks really easily. Oh my god, I'm stripping. I'm sorry, woman. I'm surprised this guy hasn't stripped my shirt off yet. And that's not in me wanting him to do it. But block. I'm not going to get his jacket. And I'm going to plank him to his feet. It's how I actually do it. It's how I actually fight. I uh, just plank. It's a uh, normal way of fighting. Oh. That is just a headband. Just the head. And my shirt's gone. Fucking bitch! I'll take that shit. Oh, I think, yeah, I can take it now. I think. Yeah! Nice microphone again, I don't want that shit. Your clothes are a mess. There don't seem to be any more of them. Okay, let's head back and tell Pops what happened. That I have no shirt. I just have no shirt, my- No hoodie. They took everything I was wearing on top. I needed that stuff. I needed that. Hello. Hello. See her a lot, Jane Doe. Riff Raff. Riff Raff, photographer, photographer, tourist. Keep that. 
So we're going to go back, tell Pops that something I don't actually know what we're telling him. As of right now. Oh, I heard music for a second. That sounded pretty good. Um, so we're going to go tell Pops. Apparently not going to tell anyone else, but Toko, I guess, will talk. Toku sounds like the type of girl who kicks shit out of me if I don't tell her. Oh, well, we're telling them all. Mission success. Yay. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, hey. Got your order right here. A whole family of beef bowls. One, two, and... Told you she'd have a word in here. You drown them in sauce the way I like it. No. Thanks, I owe you one. I made sure to order extra onions, though. Because somebody's got to watch out for your health. So, uh, guys... You know we serve food here too, right? Might be nice if you order from us every now and again, or at all. But Pops, this bar, well the coffee is delicious, but the food items are not so delicious. I feel sorry for Pop, look at his face. The, the, the dying sadness. Ooh, that stings me right in the old ticker. You're an employee here, you know? Don't it bother you to tell me our food sucks? I have to say, though, your food order is quite a bit bigger than usual. And that might just be the understatement of the century. Your food order is monstrous, man. Like eating contest world championship monstrous. All you've done is eat lately. Could this be a side effect of his transformation into a synthester? Most likely. Those who are transformed typically attack humans and feed on their vitality. But that's not the case. It seems he can still save his hunger with food, as long as he eats enough of it. Hmm. Hadn't thought of that. Oh my god, look, she's got like the free face, like the cat. So... Hurt by sunlight? And always hungry? That sounds very rough. Doesn't it seem kind of weird, though? I mean, if every other Synthester attacks people, why doesn't he? What makes him different? I'm red. What do you mean, what makes me different? I'm red. Well, that's... Hmm. Oh, well, yeah. Since you're going to be fighting monsters from here on out, I came up with a few support plans for you, so to speak. You two, if you would. Right. Can I see your phone for a bit? Now, where was that again? Oh, here we go. Set the login info and done. All right, so what I've done is I've installed an app on your phone that lets us freedom fighters read and accept requests for help gathered from locals. So you just touch my phone downloading something. I might not have... I need that space. I'm deleting it the moment this conversation is over. The icon that launches it is on your home screen under the name Side Missions, so feel free to try it out at your convenience. Basically, the idea is... I'll take it from here. The idea is, you got a lot riding on this whole fight with the Synthesters. And, well, you kinda suck at sports. You barely ever fought a real battle. And you got nothing under your belt but some Colosseum fighting. True. Real nice, Pops. Hell of a pep talk. My point is, you wanna have an advantage against the Synthesters? You got a network. You've got to reach out and touch people in the niceties, getting to know what makes them tick and why it's worth saving them from these monsters. He just told me to reach out and touch people. I'm starting to believe there's something wrong with this old man. So I'm going to gather up requests and send them over through that app and leave the rest in your hands. Up to you which ones you want to tackle. It's all in Akiba either way, so you should be able to knock out most of them during your patrols. And speaking of patrols, we're going to head out on ours. We'll take the area around the station. You'll take the side streets. Okay. Um, alright, good luck out there. Be safe. Don't worry, I'll be just fine. Okay, I, w I wasn't talking about you. I know you'd be fine. You fucking kill everyone. Not just the clothes, the actual person. Anyway, if you find anything, be sure to report back on it pronto. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. We wouldn't have it any other way. Akiba belongs to the people, you know? Whatever we can protect, we will. 
That's what being a freedom fighter is all about. Yeah, right on, Pops. Wait a man up. I am neither impressed nor inspired. Oh, no. We meet again, person accompanying Brotaku. God damn it! <laughs> Not Brotaku! Come on, Broski. Enter the sister. So, like we were saying before, there's one more person in our group who's kind of a secret character. She also found herself living in the shop, though in her case, it's because she's kind of a hermit. Her room's the one back behind the bar. Um, my name is Shizuku Tokikaze. The Freedom Fighters have been a great help to me. It's nice to meet you. I know who you are. I was eavesdropping from behind the bar counter. I was waiting for the st Again. And it's nice-ish to meet you, too. Um... My sis is weird, but I hope you two get along. We don't have to. Don't force it. Dealing with you 3D PD people drains my energy, so I'm going to go now. But there's something I want to discuss with you, Broccoli. So come to my room. <sighs> Broccoli? Really? God. Like brother, like sister, huh? Yeah, but at least there was a time when she had everything together. Not so much for her brother. Uh, uh, are you guys picking on me again? The little sister is very good with her hands, you know. She can make all kinds of clothing. Oh yeah, she can, yeah. Make clothing. That might be a good idea, actually. All of the protective gear used by the Freedom Fighters is a product of her demon art. If you have problems with your outfit, all you have to do is speak with the little sister, and they will be solved like magic. Uh, so, hey, not to interrupt, but patrols, anyone? We'll be out around the station. You should go speak with your little sister. Don't worry. I'll wait here for you until you're done. Right, do I walk around to my sister? My little, my little siski, broski. <sighs> just keep out, I can't go in. No, I just wanted to quit chat. I saw something on this wall. Cool drawing. Cool. The one on this wall over here is up. Fuck. Um. 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 What am I watching right now? Inside her heart. What the fuck? I just took a picture of the door. Oh god, I pressed. You guys might have seen something then. How do I. Sister's room. I, I went to share by accident. I always forget with this fucking controller. God damn it! Oh, I've got a cute picture. What I wanted to talk to you about is as follows. Oh no. Oh no. Mission, save your little sister. What? Your little sister is in trouble, and it's Protector's sacred duty to help ease her work. Protector's, really? God fucking damn it. I've registered the exact details of what I'd like you to do in the submission app on your smartphone. And so, I leave the rest in your capable hands. Guess I should start up the side missions app and see what she wants. This is a book from what she orders has arrived and she wants you to go pick it up at the bookstore. Really? R really? That's what you want? Really what you want? My nips are on show. Everybody? My nips are on show. Can I change? Oh, we got emails. Zamgira, full steam ahead. The superest of super curry restaurants is opening in Akihabara shortly. Yuto, the request you accept from people of artificial deadlines, so always make sure you give them your full attention as soon as possible. Okay, I can understand that. 
you can change every last dice. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, some of these are oh, oh my god! It's always sunny in Akihabara. Now that! I like! I think we're gonna get a preset though. When we're in the uh, daytime, we might see what we've got. I feel like that's what we'll do. But it as you know, it's always sunny in Akihabara. 